Hello and welcome to more The Legend of Zelda. I don't remember if I said last time that we're going to go to level t uh, level five today because we're not. Today we're going to go and get a whole bunch of collectibles. We're basically going to get all the rest of the stuff on the world map, get super powerful because level five and on the game starts to get pretty darn tough. So getting a bunch of power ups is definitely going to be really helpful. Now you might notice I'm only at three hearts right now. So the first thing I want to do is go back kind of towards level three and I want to grab, whoop, wrong way. Let's go up over here. But I want to go back towards where level three was and get the fairy, uh, the fairy fountain to heal up. And over that way is actually where I want to go for the next collectibles anyway. So it's going to be pretty easy. So you guys have seen me go to the fairy a couple times. I'll just meet you guys there. Okay, here we are. So let's go ahead and get healed up. And like I was saying, what I want to get next, all the secrets I want to get, happen to be right around this area. Now there's an item I want to buy and it costs 250 rupees to get. So because of that, we're gonna have to get some secret rupees along the way. But very conveniently, one of the spots is going to give us 100 rupees. Actually, I wanna go down this way. And the only problem is you can only hold 255 rupees. So there will be some waste there, which is kind of unfortunate, but oh well, I just happened to get a lot of, a lot of rupees uh, by this point. So let's just go over this way. And I'm just gonna go to the left. Now there's gonna be a couple other secret rupees. Um, actually, for example, I'll just go ahead and show you guys where it is. But I'm not going to grab it until after I spend all my rupees. So there's going to be one right here. And I believe that one has 30. Now once we get to this area, I believe technically this is this game's Lost Woods. So if we go up right here, it's actually just going to keep looping around. And the way we get out of this place is actually to go to the right. So we'll just go this way to escape. And we can go up from here. Now the place that has the 100 rupees, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. It's actually right here. So let's see if I can get that. And there we go. Okay, so let's go in and grab it. This is going to be the big one, so I'm going to waste 14 rupees doing this, but... Oh well. I think it's better than going and getting like the 30 and then having to grind out like 60 more rupees alongside that. So after that, I think we want to go to the left here. And over on this side is where another secret rupee is going to be. A little bit of lag right there, but inside there I believe is 10, so I'll go get that afterwards. But with that out of the way, now I just want to go to the right, kind of back towards where the fairy fountain was. Because the place with the shop, oh, let's grab that bomb. Uh, the place with the shop is actually a little bit past the fairy fountain. So the fairy fountain is right there. I'm going to go down, or not down, I'm going to go to the right. And then we'll go up from here once we get to the lake. Now to the left right there, that's a shop that has some arrows. I believe it has bombs and stuff like that. I don't want to go there. What I want to do is go all the way to the top. Let me kill off these levers real quick just to get them out of the way. Yep, would you get out of here, dude? Ah, whatever, good enough. Uh, I want to move the top armos right here. Oh, crud! And then we'll go inside, and this guy sells the blue ring. It costs 250, but once we get this, it's going to change our outfit, which is awesome. But it's also going to give us double, uh, or it's going to like double our defense. So we'll take half damage, which is great. Now, if we go back inside, we can also buy the enemy bait right here for 60. So that might be something you want to consider. Where I bought it, it was 100, so that was kind of a waste. But you can get it there for 60. And we do need the enemy bait for level 7, so eventually you're going to want to come here to get that. Alright, so now I want to grab all the rupees I can, because I want to have 100 rupees for level 5. Which is going to be a little bit tricky to get, I don't know if we'll be able to get that in time. So I'm just going to kill all the enemies as we go. And let me go back to where those two secret rupees were that I just showed you guys, and we'll grab those. Okay, here we are at the first secret rupee. I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys real quick. I've not been having the best time with getting rupees to drop. Now I'm getting a bunch of hearts, now that I don't need them. I'm only at 8 rupees right now. But after this, this one, yeah, this one's the 30, so the other one's going to be 10, so let me go up to that one as well. And again, we can't just go up right there, we have to go to the right and kind of go around. So there's the spot where we got the 100 rupee, and we'll just go up and over to the left, and that should bring us back to where we uncovered the 10. It's kind of out of the way just to get 10, but it's going to be worth it, because getting 10 rupees from enemies, you might get lucky and get it real quick, but that could take a while. So even though it's a little bit out of the way, I think it's still worth doing. And I mean, rupees are rupees. And like I was saying, look at that. I'm getting like no rupees from these guys. But there we go. We've got the 10. And now what I want to do next, guys, is actually go back to the start. Now, I want to mention one thing. There's actually a shortcut to get back to the start. And to do that, you have to pause the game, plug in the player 2 controller, and then on player 2's controller, press up and A. And then you can choose to save and continue and stuff like that. So it's a little bit ridiculous, but that is an option. You could go back to the start. Uh, 
by doing that, but I don't feel like going and plugging in player two, so I'm just gonna walk my way back there and kill everything along the way to try to get some more rupees. Alrighty, so we're back at the start, and next I want to go to the right, and you guys might know exactly where I'm heading right here, so we have the secret that was on the very east side. If we use the step ladder, we can get that heart container, so that's where I want to go next. So let's just go do that. Ooh, get some rupees along the way. So again, I'm just gonna be walking this way. Let's kill everything as we go. Yes, okay, so I was not having the best luck getting rupees, but it looks like we're getting a few now. And I want to avoid using my bow for a bit. I probably... Oh, gosh dang it, let me get my boomerang out. I probably will use it a little bit in level 5, but like I was saying, there's something in level 5 that... Oh my gosh, we're getting pretty lucky here. It's gonna cost 100 though, and it's going to be a bomb upgrade. Uh, and by that, it's not like a bomb strength upgrade, but it'll make it so that we can hold more bombs, which is fantastic. And I'm getting, gosh dang, a lot of rupees here, so I guess the lever is pretty good for rupees or something. Alright, look at that, another five, so we're already up to 90, so this is actually going pretty well. I was thinking I was gonna have to, like, get risky and go play some, uh, money-making games or something, but it looks like we're not gonna have to do that, because by the time we get to level five and do, uh, kill some enemies there, we're gonna have more than enough, so... We're doing pretty good! And after the bomb upgrade, there's not a whole lot left in the game to spend rupees on. There's one more bomb upgrade later, and that's just about it, so we're gonna mostly be just using them for arrows at that point. But alright, we're almost there, we just gotta go up a little bit more, I guess I'll skip that guy. But here we are! Let's go ahead and kill off that Zora, cause he's annoying. Get more rupees, alright, we got over a hundred already! Awesome, so let's go over here and grab that. And now there's a couple more things I want to grab. I do want to get the new sword upgrade, cause now if you look at our heart count, We've actually got 12 now, which is as much as you need to get the Magical Sword. And to get to the Magical Sword, we have to have... Actually, I'm not sure if we have to have the Stepladder, but... Uh, well, having it's convenient, and I don't think we can actually have 12 hearts at this point in the game, unless we either skip ahead and do a future dungeon, or have completed level 5 to get the Stepladder to get the heart right there. So, I don't know. But the path that we're going to take does require the Stepladder to get across, so let's just go this way. And I want to go to the left a little bit here. Now, this is an area we've been to before, but we couldn't actually pass a certain point. Let's just keep going. Uh, I guess I don't really need to kill everything now that I've got enough rupees. Let's just go to the desert here, avoid the P-hats and the levers, and we'll keep going. All the way across the desert. I believe the desert's just these two screens here, so we're almost there. Okay, maybe it's one more screen than I thought, but I guess we'll kill some levers along the way. You might have noticed earlier, a couple of enemies hit me without me losing hearts, because enemies that only did half a heart before, now they've got to hit us twice to do any damage to us. Okay, so all the way over here, this is something we couldn't cross before, but now we can. So I think there's a long path you might be able to take to get over here, but the convenient path to get to this side of the map is going to be taking that, so just come here with the stepladder, and we'll just go down and around. Not a whole lot of enemies here, just the Zoras, I guess. But we'll go up on this side, and once we get to here, we've got a little shop right there, which is going to have, um... It's gonna have a red potion you can buy, and I believe level 7 is nearby as well. If we go right up here... Uh, actually, this is... I'm getting all mixed up, hold on, I got a little bit lost. Okay, my bad, I got a little bit lost right there, so I actually wanted to go to the left instead of going north right there. So, back on the screen that has the little shop, dude, we're just gonna go to the left. And once we're over here, I believe it's behind one of these guys. If I can just remember which one. Maybe this one? Uh, nope. Maybe this one. And there it is! Okay, so that is an item I wanted to get. This is the power bracelet. What exactly does that do? It's going to let us move some pretty heavy crud, which is going to uncover some stuff later on. We'll, we'll show off more what that can do later. Uh, probably at the start of the next episode, actually, because using that we'll be able to access some different warps, and that's going to be handy. And actually, I think that other shop was not a shop that sells potions. I think there's a secret one right here. And this is going to be the one that sells potions. The other one is probably just some generic shop that had some basic items. Sorry for getting a few details mixed up here, but there's just a lot of little details to remember. But let's go over this way. Now, to the north there, that's going to be where level 6 is. We'll get to that later. But we're going to go over this way to this little graveyard. And we've got these new enemies here. These are guineas. I believe that's what they're called. But if we go up here, now that we've got the power bracelet, we're strong enough to move that gravestone, uncover the staircase, and that is going to be where we get the level 3 sword, the magical sword! So this one's going to do, I believe it's four times the damage of the original, so double the white sword. And it's amazing, even though these enemies have quite a lot of HP, we can still three shot them. So it's going to be really handy. Like I said, level 5 and on, it's going to start getting a lot more difficult. We're going to start having a lot of enemies like these guys, the Lynels, that just have a lot of HP. With Magic Sword, we can one-shot the red ones, two-shot the blue ones. Even with the Magical Sword, there's going to be plenty of enemies that we have to do three attacks to kill. 
So it's a good idea to get all that. Also, a lot of enemies, you're going to start hitting way harder. So having the blue ring is also very handy. But with that, guys, we're going to wrap things up. We'll come back next time, go to level 5, and wreck it, hopefully, now that we've got all these upgrades. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry again that I was a little bit scattered, but we got everything we needed. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.